Hey everybody, welcome back. My name is Hunter. Now today I'm going to do something a little bit different than normal. I'm not going to be carving skulls, but I'm going to be doing a review of the Art Carved Skull. It is a product from McKenzie Taxidermy. It is a European mount replica that they've kind of spiffed up with some designs on the replica. Now I am not sponsored by McKenzie. I'm simply doing a unbiased review. So I'll give you the pros and cons of mounting your antlers on one of these things and so on. So let's get started. Okay, so these are my first impressions, some pros and cons. The first thing I noticed when I ordered the uh, art carved mount is that the shipping was $16.17. Seems a bit steep to me. I could just be used to ordering things off of Amazon, but 16 bucks to ship something this big seems a bit much. Uh, so that's a con to me. The, the total cost, the um, replica itself cost $60.45. With shipping cost seventy six dollars and sixty two cents. Uh, the co the actual cost of the replica I'm cool with. You know sixty bucks that's fine. Just the shipping seemed a bit much. Um, next thing was a pro. Um, I ordered it on a Friday. It got here on a Monday. So they literally had to either ship it that day or they shipped it on a Saturday. Uh, so that's a pro. Four days super good to me. Um, now. Uh, okay, yeah, so when I opened it up, Pro came with detailed instructions, very, you know, easy to follow as far as instructions goes, two pages. The thing that goes along with that is a con. It's two pages to mount your antlers on this thing. Uh, seems a bit too much, if you ask me. Um, should be a lot simpler to mount your antlers on, on something like this. But we'll get into it, we'll see. Um, okay, a pro is it is hand carved. If you look closely, you can see it's not machined. Like someone actually did carve this out. Um, and I do know who, I'll, I'll tell you in a minute. But um, the next thing is pro and a con. It looks realistic from afar. So like, which most people are going to be seeing this, you know, on your wall if you used it. So that's fine. The con is that up close, it lacks a lot of um, original detail of the of an actual skull. So, uh, you know, pro and con. But we'll get into it and we'll see what happens. Okay, so I got me some antlers that we're going to mount on this art carved skull. Uh, my friend agreed to let me use his antlers to mount on it. Um, I did talk to the guy who actually designed the uh, art carved skull. His name is Ben Hatley and he works in the research and development uh, department of McKinsey Taxidermy. He answered a few questions for me, it was very nice. Uh, this is made out of a urethane plastic and he took a um, one of their uh, skulls that you can order from them, just the plain ones, and carved on that, and then they made a mold of that uh, replica, and then so on. Um, he said he used just a regular old Dremel, just like I used to carve the skulls, and uh, he said he made the design himself. Uh, he didn't really elaborate on whether what he carves as far as personally, but um, he did do the, de the design himself. So we'll get started. The rest of the video is going to be me mounting these things. Um, I'm not going to go step by step through the directions. If you order it yourself, you're going to get that. But I'm just going to show you what's working and what's not.
So I don't know if it's because this is just a really large uh, set of antlers, but I had to cut the base here super thin in order to get this little cap to fit over it correctly. It, it takes some maneuvering to actually get it on there, but so that it would sit, uh, would lay down flat. So the next step, number 11, is to bondo uh, the antlers onto the base. So you've got to go out and buy bondo. This was 12 bucks. Um, so that's definitely a con if you've got to spend extra money just to uh, mount the thing. But got to apply bondo in here, get it all set, let it set, and then we'll screw it in. So this is the final project. Um, you can mount it two ways. You can either put just a hanging clip on the back, just screw it directly onto the uh, skull and hang it, or like I did, I uh, mounted it on a plaque that I made. And to do that, you simply just drill a pilot hole and screw screw directly into the, the skull. Um, I'll take some pictures so you can see what it looks like on the wall. but. It actually looks pretty pretty decent. Um, there is some spacing issues as far as the top goes. Uh, if you look closely, you can see it doesn't quite line up with the uh, pedicles. But if you're just looking at it on the wall, it's, it's not a big deal. You can't really notice it that much. Um, but I'm not just going to leave it like this. Okay, so here's my final thoughts. As someone who carves skulls myself, I'm going to give this thumbs up. Yeah, I think for the price that you pay, which in the end is going to be $80, $90 by the time you buy Bondo and possibly stain or plaque, um, I, I think it's a good deal. Uh, you know, to get a skull carved is not in everyone's budget. So I think this will be an option for a lot of people. And, you know, for the product that you're getting, I think, I think it's cool. Um, you know, you can definitely spiff it up like I did, put some stain on it. And, you know, I think it looks pretty cool. Let me know what you think in the comments, and feel free to check out my other videos, and subscribe, because I put a video out about every two weeks. Um, but if you really like this thing, go to McKenzie Taxidermy, and uh, get you one. Thanks for watching.